after a father's arrest and baby's disappearance in Newton County. Authorities say a group found a baby's body Sunday in a wooded area in Covington, not far from where Christopher McNabb's newborn daughter was reported missing. Now he's in jail tonight on other charges, but police do call him a person of interest in the case. Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell is live in Newton County with more for us. Marissa? Now, Sine, Christopher McNabb is being held on a probation violation involving a burglary in Bartow County. Now, tonight I spoke with Kalia McNabb's grandfather and great grandfather. They say they just want to know what happened to her. Oh, my God. You know, just. So sad. A memorial near Woods in Covington where a group found a baby's body Sunday afternoon. Just hurt and uh, there really ain't no words to say, you know. Uh, you don't know what you feel. Tim Bell and his father, Jack, believe the child is a member of their family, two-week-old Kalia McNabb. She wasn't no bigger than this little doll right here. Authorities say her parents reported the newborn missing from their mobile home Saturday morning. After a team of people found a baby near the scene the next day, authorities say Kalia's father, Christopher McNabb, bolted. They later arrested him at a nearby gas station on Highway 36 where he was captured on surveillance video. Investigators consider him a person of interest in his daughter's disappearance. Just like it was before, it's still a waiting game, you know, to find out exactly what did happen. Tears come to my, my eyes every time I think about it. She is just so precious, so innocent, so small, couldn't help herself. You know, the worst part is, you know, is <laughs> thinking, you know, the little baby laid out there, you know, all alone.